President Obama has signed a memorandum to expand a vast marine reserve in the Pacific Ocean. It means commercial fishing and deep sea mining will be banned in the conservation area. This is a massive zone. It consists of seven scattered islands, atolls and reefs that lie between Hawaii and American Samoa. The waters that surround these islands are home to corals, seabirds, sharks and vegetation not found anywhere else in the world. With me is marine ecologist Dr. Elsa Harris, who is executive director of Blue Ventures, a volunteer organization that helps rebuild tropical fisheries with the poorest coastal communities. Is this a big step forward from President Obama? Yes, today is a, is a massive day for marine conservation. It's a very bold move by the president that's really going to cement his legacy in conservation. It's a tremendous expansion in the area of the Pacific Remote Islands Marine National Monument. This is a group of islands that, that start about a thousand miles west and southwest of the Hawaiian Islands. They include already five um, highly protected atolls and marine reserves. What President Obama has done is picked three of those islands and atolls, uh, Wake Atoll, Johnston Atoll and Jarvis Island, and increased the area of protection around them from 50 miles offshore to 200 miles offshore. What about the critics who say he hasn't done enough? He should have included all of the atolls, all of the areas. Indeed, some of the islands are still open to commercial fishing. He was under intense lobbying from the commercial and industrial tuna fishing lobby, particularly those in Hawaii, to allow the islands to, be st to remain open for industrial fishing. So I think it, it's a very bold move. Um, it has increased the area of protection by around a million square kilometers in this area alone. So that equates to approximately four times the size of the surface of the UK. Um, and that will add a significant proportion to the global area of marine conservation zones currently under management. So the main threat to this area had been overfishing, whether it be commercial fishing or illegal fishing? Absolutely. Human impacts, development, increasingly seabed mining, commercial fishing, industrial fishing, both licensed fishing and illegal fishing. These are incredibly remote areas in the centre of the Pacific. They're very difficult to police, very difficult to enforce the conservation legislation. So that's surely the next challenge with such a vast area. How are they going to enforce these rules and police this massive area? Absolutely. It's a huge challenge to police an area that is four times the size of, of the UK. There are increasing numbers of tools and sophisticated technologies available that help enforcement authorities to, 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 to monitor and control fisheries surveillance. But it, it will be a challenge. But it is, that said, a, a tremendous step forward for the Pacific. I mean, we've had such fun creating this wonderful screen behind us. It's not a screen, we are actually underwater. <laughs> I wish we were. Uh, but uh, tell me about this environment, because people say, look, the Pacific is untouched, it is still pristine. Mm -hmm. is, is that the case? This part of the Central Pacific is about as close as we can get to a tropical primeval wilderness. We, we don't use the term pristine because everything has been impacted by the human impacts of climate change. Um, but it's about as close as you can get in the Pacific. It's a very complex environment of vast coral reefs, sea mounts, a marine environment that's home to globally important populations of sharks, rays, turtles, millions of seabirds. Are there still so it's, things, a, it's a global asset. And are there still things to discover there? Absolutely. The Palmyra, a beaked whale, 10 years ago discovered in the Marine Monument that was actually created in 2009 by then President George Bush. Dr. Harris, thank you very much for joining us. Thanks to, to Kirsty for creating this wonderful screen behind us.